Hey everybody, this is Alzerth, and welcome to Death Must Die. This is going to be a semi-blind playthrough. This is kind of essentially Diablo meets Bullet Heaven in a more almost literal sense compared to some of the other games that have attempted this because you have equipment and all kinds of different classes. It, it gets a few layers going there. So let's go ahead and click play. This is going to be semi-blind on my part because I actually have not touched it before this. I wanted this to be my first experience because it looked very, very promising. So this is the House of Death. Okay, so we have dash. We have move with left. Right is aim. And L1 is toggle auto attack. So it'll, it seems to just auto attack if I have that pressed. Then we can press L1 to turn it off. Okay. What is my attack button? Oh, it's just literally lean the stick that way. That's fine. Thankfully, these guys are relatively easy to kill. But I do know that there's several characters. We'll unlock them just by playing in general. And it has kind of the similar rules to doing just normal old... Well, bullet heavens. You want to kill as many enemies as possible, get your XP, level up, get shrines if possible. And that is not a shrine we want to waste right now. It's a healing shrine. And yeah, whenever they show their little reds under them, it's a thing. And we also have dialogue, which I forgot to turn the volume up on, which we'll do whenever I get out of this. Well, whatever it is you're doing here, I'm always the first to help mortals, so allow me to lend a hand. Get you. We can do Trail of Fire, Breath of Fire, or Vengeful Strike. I'm going to go ahead and go with Breath of Fire because I love that game. We can press L2 for more info. Cool. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll pause. Audio. We're going to actually turn the music down a little bit and keep the voice up so I can adjust the audio appropriately to it. As you can see, the master is up high. That should be good. For some reason, those look like they're different lengths to me. But alas, my ass. It is not. So let's hope this actually works. And no, I'm not actually pressing the attack button. I am literally just aiming with it. Oh, and it looks like we've got healing items that drop now, so we don't even have to, like, hold off on using the little wells. Okay. Because last time I checked, this didn't have those, but I guess I was wrong. Now, as far as the layouts of the levels, I don't know if they're fixed layouts or not. They very well could be. Oh, we've got archers. Yeah. Hi, guy. There's one. Keep coming after me. Wah. I just need to dodge the ranged boys. Oh, and we've also got a boss over there. The goddess of all the hot stuff. Fires, volcanoes, you know it. And we will do... Hmm. I'm going to go for just like straight up get burning on as many things as possible and do incineration. So let's go ahead and get incineration now. Yeah, we've got a boss over there, which is going to throw crap at me. Get back here. Get back here. No, you don't get to you don't get to be a butt. There you go. And we get magnetic gauntlets of luck. Which are Increase luck and shard pull area. Sure, I will take that. And yes, you can play with mouse and keyboard. I just am not. Because I'm being lazy right now. And I'm playing with a controller so I don't have to be hunched over my desk. <laughs> that is half the fun is avoiding hunching over your desks. Oh, wow. Things are getting slightly tankier. And there's a big crunchy boss. Hi, guy. Ow. I need to remember to I have a dodge skill. There's our heal. And we will go for... Hmm... Let's go for attacks are stronger and cause burn. And oh, if you hold it down, it uses both your dashes. That is a problem. Because I have a feeling, if I remember correctly from what I was watching somebody else play this, they ended up with a situation where they were... Um, we have a meteor shower now, too. Where they were swarmed by slimes. Meteors fall from the skies, damaging enemies and burning the ground. Sure. 
now we have all kinds of fire going, which is perfect for me. And with our nice AoE of the breath, we should be able to handle a lot of things. And with the burning left on the ground, it can knock out enemies that are a bigger pain in the ass. While we are busy dodging them. I don't want to use the well just yet. I think we want to save it for slightly more dangerous enemies. <coughs> wow, and we got him with meteor... Oh, hi, guy. No. Can we actually get that attack off on you? Yes. Eee. I literally do not want to get hit by just random trash. That is one of the biggest problems that I could encounter in here. I keep double dashing. There needs to be like a distinct button press input for that. Not just check if you're still pressing it after like half a second. Okay, so we've got burning enemies leaving crap on the ground, which what is good for me. Would it be without some fire and mayhem? We always need fire and mayhem. That is our build. Uh, spell damage increase. Attacks become stronger and apply burning. Kill a number of burning enemies. Explosion and damages and knocks back nearby. Sure. Just let everything explode. More AOE. More better. I'm wishing one of them would drop a heart. <laughs> Just to top me off so I'm not tempted by that well down there. I'm saving it for a particular situation. Yes. Oh, there's a slime. Does that mean more slimes are going to start coming? Yeah, we've got the black border. So they are here. Okay, so we've got a huge batch of them. We've got the recovery thing down there. And yeah, I am literally just using up all my dashes each time I press it. It is way too sensitive for me. And I just panic pressed that. I don't think I needed it. Okay, so we have... Every few attacks you breathe fire. Yeah, we have we already have these. We don't have flares, so let's go ahead and grab that one. So we just have more fire shooting out of us at any given time. And it should fire it at anything that's trying to attack us. <clears throat> just have a chance, that is. I think we're doing okay. Oh, yeah. Especially those meteors. I think those meteors are doing more work than pretty much anything we could come up with. Okay, so back to skeletons. So we need to get away from here and look for another shrine. Of course, we also need to equip this. Estimated DPS, attack damage, spell damage. Sure, and it's night only, so... It's not like we need to save it for another character. I think the equipment is meant to keep you from just farming stuff up on, like, an easy character and then stacking it all on another one, but I could be wrong. Because a lot of this seems like it's just kind of sticking on our... Our body. Okay, so you guys are over there trying to shoot at me. And oh, wow. Our little fire bolts are doing work. Like, each of these guys tries to shoot at me, and it's it's getting some fire bolts out at them. Get back here, you dingus. Ouch. And we are just taking unnecessary damage. <laughs> This I reward you with my powers. Now obey. Oh, we've got crap from you. Uh, damages and knockbacks enemies. That would be kind of handy. Yeah, we'll do it. The dash actually having a function. I mean, we do actually have various functions. Hi, guy. Get back here. Nice. He didn't drop anything despite being a boss. Kind of sucks for me, I guess. Okay, let's grab all of these. This should possibly get us another level. And as long as we... Oh, that guy's not a boss now. Okay, so kill the burning enemies. Hi, get out of there.
And yeah, for the most part, we're doing okay. We're a little bit low on life, but I think I should be fine. Never cross me. Hey, Chains of War, you're... Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and throw all kinds of stuff out there. Uh, wrong button. We get some extra armor, which is always welcome. And yes, I am equipping it as soon as I get it. Yeah, getting more AoEs in games like this is pretty important. Hi, guys! Ah, lordy. Yeah, they're going to murder me. Especially until I get this dodge down where it doesn't keep double using them. That That is proving to be kind of on the bad side. It using up my dodges. How do I get down to continue? Oh, I just, I press OK. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it being on the wrong thing. OK, I am back. Our hourglass has brought you back. Step into the water once more, hero. We cannot follow you, but soon others will come to your aid. Death will stand trial for his transgressions. Groovy. And stash-wise, yeah, I think these are, yeah, abound on equip as well. Nothing up here. I'm just checking if there's anything in here that we can possibly trigger to get different characters yet. Doesn't look like it. The irony, the entrance to the underworld on the highest peak is destroyed. So no one can get over here. And this is... It was a long climb. Glad I brought enough rope. Oh, so that's how we got up here. Are other people going to follow us up here? Morbidly beautiful. It looks very triangular. <laughs> I don't think we have any other characters yet, so we kind of just have to go for this. I wouldn't mind having like some kind of boost to my number of dashes at this point. Just to compensate for the fact that I just can't really do anything about the double dash. Oh, this is where we go into the next mission? Okay, we just walk into the water. Didn't ro Did not realize that. Okay, so we are slow. We have shrines. Let's go see what if we can get some shrines that are not just potions. Here, I'm going to turn on auto attack. Actually, let's not, because that slows us down so much. Extra luck. Nice. I think that improves our drop quality whenever we do get drops. That's how it usually works in games like this. And I just have to... I have to just tap. Lightly, gingerly tap. To get what I'm looking for. Hey, it's you again. Hi, guy. I am going to go for the dash thing. No, let's go for Rampaging Strike. I want to see my enemies get knocked back to the edge of the map. Because that makes me happy. I think, if I'm guessing correctly, this game is going to be geared around possibly, and I have noticed that the map is different, it's possibly going to be geared towards finding as many shrines as possible early on. Kind of augment the play. Ow. Ow. There's another one there. Let's buy. It. Let's grab that. I think only he can equip these. Yeah, night only increases our DPS. I'm assuming. Yeah, 31 to 36, 32 to 46. Swap those out. It just shows us green always, which is not a okay, attack damage much higher. Need to not get just completely bodied by those guys. What are you? Shrine of the Fates. So you get four banishes, three rerolls, or three alterations. I think we'll go for alterations. Why not? Because that's the only one that I don't know what it does by reading it. Would love this. Oh, if only they could see it. Uh, for this one, I think I want to go for... You know what? Let's let's go for a dash build so I can get used to the dashes more. 
So I'll just start grabbing all the abilities to give my dashes functions. Because this will let me see how long I can press the button for as well. And we are staggering this guy. Yoink. Hopefully they're better magnetic gauntlets. And I think it does pause whenever I go to that screen. Ah, uh, this guy... I think shurikens is going to be better. This seems like a lot of fun. We're going to go with the fun. And yeah, that's that's doing decent damage. And I think I see a shrine up there. Go grab it. And yes, there are magnets in this game. I happen to know for a fact. A 60% experience. Get as many kills as possible while that's running. Getting more drops as well. Ow. Yeah, I really hate that it's using up both my dashes because it's, it's just such a short time that you can leave that button pressed down. My reflexes are not good enough to get it all the time. Let's go for... Hmm. Yeah, we're going we're gonna go for a dash. So let's grab this, see what he has. Blades, rotating blades spawn away from you, rupturing and damaging enemies as they're pulled back to you. Or do we go for more chains? You can go for more chains, because that it's gonna make it bigger. And you might hear a dog in the background, it's because he's whiny today for some reason. Apologies. So what's our... Ooh, we got a llama. Uh, llama's... Okay, gain item, anger the llama god. Gain plus 300 pull range. Let's go for... Let's anger the llama god. Neek torso. 35% damage reduction. And we have more magnetic gauntlets... Shard pulls 150, 90 on that one. I think we'll save these for another character. Yeah, we will. Oh, God. Those guys are actually kind of dangerous to me right now. I don't know what angering the Llama God does. We're going to go look for more shrines. I wish those guys had the kind of, you're behind them, so it's their weakness kind of thing. Like the, oops, and I just bumped my mouse. Sorry. Because I was going to scratch my nose and I bumped the desk. You feel unimpeded. Cool. No harm can, yay, here we go. Just walking towards the other ones. Slashing guys in the face. Your prayers are answered. Plus 10% heals is fine. Space warps around you. That gets us all of our shards in. So we're just going to go up here and go after this. Stamina, you feel unimpeded. That We just got that one game. And we have a heal there. Oh, here comes the slimes. I just want to get all my spinnies up. Because that's going to help us out against the slimes a great deal. And we'll use the well after we do this. Okay, so blades. I'm going to go with... We'll go with rotating blades. And yeah, I am not intentionally using multiple dodges. It is... L Really accidental. Okay, so get all of our XP. Actually a good little bit of XP here. But it, it's just... If I'm holding it down, it seems to queue it up as well. <laughs> Summer is far fierce warrior than her sister. Fire and blood are both at your side. I will go with more chains of war to make that bigger. 
At least our dodges regenerate relatively, I guess. So grabbing the XP and high random guys, we are going to grab this and move towards the next ooh shrine. Get back here. Didn't mean to double dodge there, but fine. Okay, we have a shrine up here. As we're taking unnecessary damage. Spell duration. Cool. Don't really need that right now, but it's fine. Oh, and we got faster skeletons. A lot of help from the others, haven't you? I bet he wouldn't expect his own tools against him, though. Mind if I join? Yeah, I'm Mort, Death's daughter. But I'd really like to see him defeated, nonetheless. Personal reasons. Okay, so we have Sickles of Mort. Every few attacks shoot Sickles. They deal damage equal to a percentage of your attack and apply statuses. That applies Curse. Do we actually have any way to heal is the question. Any enemies they pass through become cursed and lose a percentage of their current life. I think we do Ravens. Something automated attacking all the enemies is kind of up there for me. And yeah, these little fast boys are making me nervous. I could totally use a well right now. Please let this be a well. It is not. It is a shrine of music. Uh, enemy barriers are reduced by 24%. Gain 1.5 experience per round. And per second. Just free levels up? Sure. Hi, guy. You is scary. Letting our ravens do all the work while we get XP. <laughs> it works for me. Oh, Oni Demon. Uh, damage against enemies above 50% life. And what are you going to do? Hi. Go away. You'll know harm can come to you. Okay, this is where we take these guys out. Wow, they really do sound like Coke cans. It's being popped. Make them feel the heat. Okay, alteration changes it. Okay, gain attack speed for each ruptured enemy. Rotating blades spawn away from you, and shurikens. Sh uh, let's go for another alteration, and we'll go for more damage on the ravens. Looks like we are still getting decent XP. I'm feeling we're going to see those bosses spawn pretty soon. The twin birds. Yep, they spawn at seven. Go, Ravens! Oh, they can go outside the square? You bastards. That's cheating. Oh, and I got one of them! Oh, uh, let's go for... Are we actually going to beat them here? Chains of War. We did. We actually beat them. <laughs> okay, we're going to have them explode. So we beat the ravens on this round. That's good. Not the ravens, the bird folk. I think it was mostly due to our ravens, though. Or crows, or whatever we happen to get. You would allow this snake to slither into your ear and accept her favor? The daughter of D Let's see who conquers the throne of skulls in the earth. Uh, who conquers the throne of skulls in the aftermath? It's probably going to be her because I'm. I prefer death to become death again. 
Even though we have a vendetta against the current one, it's probably good to have someone trained. Rather than just an arbitrary person who wants everything to die because war! It's, it's good for... Oh, God. I... I was not expecting triple arrows. You're back. Yeah, you are. Let's go ahead and see. We have heavy greaves. Those bind on equip. Each step a quake. Skill already okay. Upgrade. Can upgrade to master. I think we will go ahead and take movement speed. Get three reroll dice with that one. We also have these. We're going to probably who there go go through them like that. We have multi multi shot enemies. Just deal with them. Let's get to you. I keep thinking there's like a proper attack button. And there is not. It is literally you're pressing the joystick in the direction you want to hit. I am going to go for that. Okay, let's pick up our XP here and start moving up to find more shrines. Because I have a feeling we're going to run into another boss and I would like to have a well gotten by then. Our ravens are doing work. I mean, they're not killing them fast. But they don't need to. They're literally just kind of chipping everything down. Okay, and there's a treasure over here. Not a treasure, a shrine. Let's go ahead and gain 20 armor. Hooah. And those guys just tracking on me hard is fine. Oh, those don't heal you very much. Okay. I will remember that. Okay, so for the most part, these guys are not too terrible. Plus 10% heals. Cool. Yes, I know you're chasing me. Oof, I did not mean to take that hit there. Okay, so here's another level up. We have, I think we go for, hmm. We'll go for incineration for now, mainly because we are applying a lot of burn and we're doing a lot of work with it. I'm not really interested about going too quickly at these guys. There's a peace of mind. Not what I need. Okay, so we have more damage. You deal more damage to enemy barriers or rotating blade spawn away. I think we might go with... Ooh, bloodless. Yes. Attack speed. Go! Attacking faster is always kind of nice. I would like to see... Did they drop me any heals? They did not, but they dropped orange. Crystals, which I think is going to be more XP, if I had to guess. Okay, and yes, that damage boost is temporary. So I don't really want to be kind of relying on stuff like that. Ooh, we've got a chest. Uh, shrine, we are going to go for attack area. Simply because bigger attack area is better for us because we are fairly well geared towards just doing normal attacks, not our spell damage. Because we're not doing a lot of spells yet. And this is going a lot better than I thought it would. I had heard this game was tough as nails, and it's, it is relatively tough, but it's not like end of the world, everything is crashing before us kind of tough. It is slightly more tough than Halls of Torment. Actually, it's significantly more tough than that, specifically. But. Okay, we need when you kill them, they explode. Sure. Burning enemies is fine. Let's 
get away from these guys. I had, like, completely forgotten that I had the whip. These guys are sketchier than the green ones. I could definitely see myself playing more of this. Hi, guys. Time to get murdered. And those are doing quite a bit more damage. And yeah, these guys are just spawning too much for me to really make progress in one direction or another. Uh, let's go for an alteration. We'll go for more ravens. I am loving those ravens, by the way. Okay, let's get... Oh, I ran into the pillar. That might actually be the death of me. If they don't spawn some... Oh, hi. We got Speedy Boy coming after us. We just died. I don't see any heals in here. And yeah, we are we are doomed. These guys are going to rip me a new one. Let's go for Hmm. Combust. That could be a heal. Nope. <laughs> Couldn't get there in time. But we got past the first group of bosses. That's a plus. That's that's not a bad game. I want to see us. Oh, there's our first character. Hi. How you doing? She has dashes. I did not expect a living guardian at death's gates. I'm no guardian. Just went out for some fresh air. I was told to expect others. I expect you're the first to come. First to come? What are you talking about? It might take me a while to explain everything. So, you want me to go down there with the hourglass? Only one can wield it. Good luck. But I want to play as you. Fine. I knew I was going to get another character. I just didn't know how soon. As far as what you can get, cannot equip any of this. Oh, and we can just press Y to transfer it. That's fine. So, let's see, plus three banished dice. So she just can't equip any of this. So we might as well just put whatever we want on here. Wise girdle. Oh, L2 to compare. We don't want that. Can we actually sell anything is, the, is another question. No. No, we want the way faster movement speed. So he's the only one that can equip. Is it just going to be one of those things where it's just each character gets their own dedicated equipment? That would kind of suck a little bit, but we'll try her out first. Just give her a nice stab with the fear balls. Okay, so she has directional, which I am not able to aim very well. think oh l1 auto aims as well it doesn't just auto fire so that might be handy for her for the range characters having auto aim is going to be pretty important for me it just saves me from having to be precise with my right joystick use a small house looks cozy a little gremlin inside invites you but you don't think you'll fit and you're a bit busy at the moment okay Tea cup of coffee, gain 50% attack speed for 6 seconds, dash cooldown, life, and max life. I think we're going to go dash cooldown. Then I thought I saw some more... Why I'm doing this? Do we need a reason to set things on fire now, too? Yeah, I, I think for the... Ooh. Yeah, Vengeful Strike looks good on her. Um, I thought we saw some shrines to the left. <coughs> and she is definitely a lot easier to use. Good lord. Especially since things are dying before it even gets close to us. 
Only thing that I'm regretting is that all of our XP is so far away. Yeah, there was a shrine over here. So what kind are you? It is a grave. We got nothing. Well, at least we didn't get cursed. I know that you can get cursed from graves. I know that you can get items from graves. I was hoping for an item. <laughs> but I highly doubt on our first several runs we're going to really be kicking butt and taking names simply because of the fact that we still have to do some upgrades. The heart-stopping bite of frost. The captivating embrace of cold. I am winter and I've come to enchant this bitter place with my beauty. Fire and ice. Really what I want to be going there. That damage and chill enemies are if you attacks a frost ring spawns from you that freezes. I think we'll go for frost ring. We'll go for maybe like attack up. Sorry, attack speed up. I will always mock you. Did we really? Yeah, we just really got something that she can't even equip. Well, thanks, game. I'll be sure to put it into storage. That is some nice the explosives. Does not listen to the harvest, so maybe it's high time he started. As far as you, when you kill a number of any skeletons, race. Um. Let's try the skeleton thing. I want to see if we can possibly go full necromancer. <laughs> Which would be really awesome on this. There's our skeletons. And I think they have a limited duration, though. And we got him. Here comes our chest. What do we get from it? Trail of Fire, Vengeful Strike. Uh, none of these are really that great for us, but we'll just go for more damage. Make our attack just kick butt and take names. Especially since we are ranged and don't have to worry about 90% of this stuff. I think we're going to probably have trouble whenever we get to the slimes, though, because I guarantee you we are less tanky. My gifts are far cooler than those of winter. Yeah, but I want you both. Okay. I think we're just going to go for another Vengeful Strike. I know that we could have gotten the purples there. But more damage is going to be welcome for me. Especially since we have a bit of pierce. This will give us crowd control. Which is something that you desperately need in games like this. You feel unimpeded. Don't know what it does. Oh, we are moving faster. That would be helpful. Especially since we don't really care about killing the enemies per se. Even though it is nice. We want item drops and we want... Yeah, item drops. That's pretty much all that we really want. And with our freeze effects, we can kind of hold things in place if we need to as well. Which is handy dandy. I'm really surprised we haven't taken a hit yet from me doing something stupid. I mean, we did defeat the bird folk. Okay, so chest, sure. Ignoring robe of magnetism. One alteration dice. I don't know what the dice is, but sure. This will get us more of our XP coming in. So we'll grab this right here, and then we're going to start heading down again. Oh, we got slimes. Great. Skelly bros, save me. I'm stuck, Skelly bro. I'm, I shouldn't have made that joke, but still. There's our first being hit. We will go for, ooh, I think we'll go for a breath of fire here just to have. 
a little bit of extra AoE. Just to punch through these guys a little bit easier. With our freeze, oh wow, we our slimes are doing more. I'm not our slime, our slime skeletons. <laughs> yes, we are getting skeletons from slimes. God dang. Yeah, we we are out of charges, please. Thank you. I think we go for flare. Okay, so we took a decent chunk of damage from that. Which is not what I wanted. Let's turn off auto attack so we Oh, we still don't move very quick. I'm getting a little better at doing the whole dash thing. And I think it counts the dash as an attack. So that works out good for me. Yes, we will meet again, but you are going to die again. I need that. And we have spell damage increase every few attacks you breathe fire. Yeah, we'll do the increased burn. We could use the freeze that randomly spawns on the ground. I'd rather, I would really rather just have my main attack be just completely gnarly and gargantuan. What are you? Movement speed or evasion? Movement speed! Because frankly, we is slow as shit, even with when we're not attacking. So grab the ancient chest. That's magnetic gloves. Probably can't even equip it. Oh, we can. Sweet. So turn that back on. And here is all the XP we left behind. Good lord, that was a lot. I will definitely grab this. So spell damage increase every few attacks. I guess we go for the breathe fire. It's between these two. I think we'll go for the breathe fire just for more fire damage. I don't know if it increases the chance of it doing it. We are about to be encountering those bloody winged wonders. Which is not where I want to be right now. Yep, there they are, Baron's left hand. Ow! I didn't see the red on the ground. Well, we are doomed. <laughs> but the characters are pretty fun. I, I, I am looking forward to playing more of this. I might do a few episodes of this one instead of just one. Yeah, you survive it. Shop unlocked. Oh, sweet. Please let us be able to sell shit. Got all these gods helping you down there, huh? You know, I'm something of a god myself. Why don't you bring me some of death's stolen goods and I'll lend a hand too, or a sword? Okay, so can we sell? 44? Okay. I, I will be right back. I have a lot to give you. Because all of this... Other than the gloves, which is 1.8% luck, 90 shard pull versus 150 shard pull. I'm going to go for shard pull just because it's longer range. Keep the luck ones just in case we need luck. But the rest of this does not seem like it's going to be... Yeah, that's weaker. That's weaker. And all of this is weaker as well. So let's sell. Give me all your money. Okay, so this is more adept offers. Movement speed, yes. I don't... Okay, we have 919. These are not terribly expensive. Increase attack damage, sure. Extra armor and life, yes. Heal on level up and a massive shard pull area versus one alteration dice. I think this is going to be better. 
Alteration dices seem fun, but more oomph seems better. That is going to be for a different class. I think that's going to be for the rogue. We'll buy that, and I think we're good. So 600 gold. What is this going on over here? Complete the sign of time space fire achievement to unlock this perk. Sign of the helper, sign of time space, time of the hydra, and sign of the summoner. And knight has hero, chosen one, the cat, guardian, and disciple. I think these are going to be, yeah, just general achievements that we need to do to get better stuff. Okay. And there is a third character I know of that's a rogue, but I haven't seen anything beyond that. Hourglass worked. I'm back, but still don't understand why time gave us the hourglass. They see righteousness of our cause. Righteousness. It's unknown of God's sacrifice. And so much... And so... Okay. But time's focus must be on more important matters than themselves. Okay. Can we actually switch to you? How do we switch characters is the thing that I'm curious about. Do we do it by going in? It can't be by going in. Okay, so it's through the campfire. We literally just shoulder button and then select it. Okay. A little bit weird feeling, but it's one of those that you can get used to. And Scriveners. Okay, so we have Sign of the Hero... Beat the Baron with Averon. Don't... I think I might have already killed 500 skeletons with him. Beat the Baron with each character. Cat dies nine times. Wow. So these are your achievements. You'll... Okay. Oh, and it shows us our progress towards it. That one does not have any progress towards it. I guess because it probably just wasn't unlocked at the time, so it didn't count towards it. Okay, that's fine. Get 40 summons with Maris. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call that a Let's Play session of this. We've got 45 minutes in it, so that's pretty good. So if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.